Chapter 3 Religion and Chieftaincy The Ghana population is largely made up of Christians. We must bear that in mind in all our activities. It is therefore essential for the government to take an interest in the relationship between the government and the church. It is further evident that a large number of discerning Ghanaians are not comfortable with the proliferation of mushroom churches and their activities. This is visible in the large support and commendations received by Kennedy Ajapong when he declared war on the church. Government can easily capitalize on this and quickly come forward with a legislation to regulate these churches. Immediate examples include Rwanda and will bring an end to the vulnerable women who have suffered years of abuse at the hands of these mushroom pastors. These issues notwithstanding, it is important to identify and profile some church leaders within the country as they seem to perpetrate an agenda against our political tradition. They must be properly contained and muted. Critically, Duncan Williams. His love for money is not in doubt and material inducements and commercial gains make him vulnerable to market incentives. This means that he has a good nose for the highest bidder. His relationship with leading members of the NDC is an open secret. It is therefore important to encourage the EC chair to build better relations and frequent his place as discreet as possible to seek spiritual directions and make firm pledges of her commitment to a transparent election, knowing very well that he will further reassure the NDC establishment of the honesty of the EC system. This will give them the comfort we need in order to tame a potential NDC aggressive posture towards the EC.